seated. First John. First John. I want to talk about time. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Yeah. Understand our time. <laughs> say it again. Yes. There is time for everything. There is time to be born and time to live this world. Time to enjoy life in the flesh and time to live in the spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Time is very, very important in life. Whether spiritually or physically, everything moves with time. That's why there is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Again, there is 06, 07, 08, 09. All this time, each and every time serves its own purpose. This is First John, chapter 5, verse 18. We know that no one, I mean, we know that anyone born of God does not continue to sin. The one who was born of God keeps them safe, and the evil one cannot harm them. I want you to take note of this word. The one who was born of God keeps them safe. Who is that person? That is Jesus. And the evil one cannot harm them. If you know you are born of God, you are accessible but untouchable. Anyone can see you, a witch can see you, a prostitute can see you, criminal can see you. But because of the one who was born of God, who keep you safe from all those things that can threaten your life. Now, here is my point. Let's go to 19. We know that we are children of God and that the whole world is under the control of the evil one. We are children of God. Take note of this statement. We know that we are children of God and the whole world is under the control of the evil one. This is the world where you are. And the one who is in charge is not Elisha's one. It is evil. How are you going to live in that world? How are you going to survive? Number one, understand the time you are in. Number two, believe in the one who controls day and night. That is Jesus. Number three, obey his voice. Because you know that you are a child of God. And you know that as long as you are born from above, you cannot continue living in sin. And what is sin? Sin could be anything evil. Hatred, envy, unforgiveness, stubbornness, anger, anything that cannot save the purpose of God or that cannot be in line with the character of the Holy Spirit lead to sin. Quick temper is not a sin, it is a weakness. But if care is not taken, it can lead to what? To sin. So we are in the world. 
And the one who is in control over this world is evil. There was a message I was, you know, pondering the whole week, even this morning. But I could not, you know, be permitted to come and share this message with you. I'm believing God that next week I'll come with this message. Because of the level where you are, people must know what is good and what is bad. People must know that this is not from God. It is from Satan. Whether you are wearing a collar or you are carrying a title, what is coming out of you, if it is not God, people must know that this is not God. This is Satan talking. Are you there, people of God? Let's continue. Verse 20. We know also that the Son of God has come and he has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true and we in him who is true by being in his son Jesus Christ he is the true God and eternal life praise the Lord I'm sure my reading is now okay yes we know also that the son of God has come to do what? to give you understanding how to live in a world full of corruption full of evil full of jealous he came to open your mind. Jesus was moving with time. I'll take you there. To the book of John 17, verse 1. And then Luke 24, verse 45. But first of all, let me talk about this one. He came to open our mind. So that we understand life beyond the knowledge of this world. You see things and the people of this world will see it the way you understand that situation and the way they will understand that one is not the same because Jesus came to let you know that this is not the way the way is this direction are you there people of God if you are using your own time you cannot understand this one it is only the time of Jesus that can make you to know that oh the level where you are, the world is going down. I want to remind you about the happening of this world. Sea wars all over the world. Earthquake all over the world. Even in Africa now, it happens in Morocco. Look at what happened in Libya, Malawi. There you know that these are the signs of the end, but that is not the end. This is why you need to understand the time that you are in. Even those who are enjoying marriages, who are enjoying, you know, uh, promotions, who are, whatever you are enjoying, think about the time that you are in. There is no love in this world. People confess love with their mouth. In reality, they are fighting each other. He came to open our understanding. The Bible says that we know also that the Son of God has come and he has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true and we are in him. No one is true here on earth. If you are not in Jesus and Jesus is not in you, there is no life. Anything that you hear, people are not interested in salvation. People are interested in money, material things. And they are forgetting that the life that you are using came from God Almighty. I've been saying this. As long as Jesus is not part of your life, you cannot understand anything. Do you know the reason why you need to know the time you are in? Simply means, even in sickness, the spirit of God will interpret the time you are in and the way you are going to live that situation and the way you are going to succeed and the way you are going to defeat your enemy. God is God, even in death is God. It doesn't matter. 
Nangu mulinobumi lesa ni nani? Nangu mwafu ni nani? Even if you are to leave this world today, it doesn't mean that you are going to hell. If you are a child of God, you are going back where? Home. And heaven is our home. This is why you need to understand. If you understand the time you are in, the devil cannot use anything to trick you. The spirit of God will be there. Jesus was always talking about time. Time, time, time. Let's go to John 17. This is Jesus now in verse 1. After Jesus said this, he looks towards heaven and prays, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so that your son may glorify you. Listen to this. He knew the time that this is the time to be persecuted. This is the time to be arrested. But he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. He never said, but why? He said, the hour has come. Jesus understood the situation he was in. To say, I am in a process of what? Persecution and killed. But glory be to God Almighty. I am not saying they will kill you the way they killed Jesus. No. It is time I want you to know. For you granted him authority over all the people that he might give eternal life to all. That he might give eternal life to all. Not some. All. Simply means there's a choice for you. God has given you that platform to say you need to be saved. He said you granted him authority over the people. We are the people. He said, the hour has come. In life, no one is ready to accept a painful life. No one is ready to accept poverty. No one is ready to accept failure. No one is ready to accept rejection or disappointment. But that is the life we are living. Some of you, you are in poverty, disappointment, Failure, a limitation, rejection. But you cannot understand the purpose and the reason why you are in that time. If the grace is given to you to understand that one, then the way out is very close to you. If you cannot understand, even a simple thing can take years and years tormenting your life, pushing you left, right, and center because you are lacking the interpreter of the time. It is only Jesus who can interpret the time. Are you there, people of God? No one is ready to be sick. Can you accept to be sick? I'm talking to you, church. Can you accept to be sick? But there are sick people inside the church. Jesus understands the time he was in. This is why he said to his father, the hour as what? He knew that this is the time of persecutions. This is the time to be arrested. This is the time for miracle. This is why you see even in prayer like Bapente. Bapente, the way we pray sometimes, that's why we touch pokelelama answers. Touch pokelelama answers because umuntu wote akura itra fe problem. Eh, ninkwata problem ya so na so. Ah, riya baba shika. Oh, glory be to God. You are talking to yourself. You start speaking in tongues. Not because the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongues. No. You want to show that person that you are a spiritual man. Even a spiritual man cannot be moved by a situation. It is the Spirit of God that can move you. Not the situation around you. Jesus was not moved by any situation. Even when things are very tough. He will become. Because the spirit of God in him was so strong. For him to understand the time is in and the situation and the pain. We endure that pain. But in a situation where no one can tell you what is going on. How are you going to get out of that situation? 
Oh, you are inside the church. You have been to which doctors? Sunday you are inside the church. After everything, nothing is changed, you pick the phone. Prophet, I don't know this. Even you as a prophet, you need to understand where you are. If it is time to prophesy, you will prophesy. If it is not time, don't use your voice to prophesy. The answer will not come. Are you there, people of God? Jesus said the hour as what? He knew that the spirit of God is in me now. To manage this situation. The year 2024. Is the year to honor God. How are we going to honor him? By establishing an altar. It is time to do that. It is time to do that. If it is not time. We cannot manage Listen to verse 3. Now, this is eternal life. That they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you sent. I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world Begun. It is only him who is life. There is no life outside him. It is only Jesus. But my point on this, Jesus could not pray this prayer at the beginning. He prayed this prayer because it was time for him to do that. He told his father, he said, I have finished the work you give me. I have shown God to the world. So give me the glory that you had when I was with you before the world began. And God was there listening to his son because it was time for him to do that. Let's go to Luke 24. Let me start with from 45. I mean 44. Luke 24. He said to them, this is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the psalmist. 45. Then he opened their mind so they could understand the scripture. Are you there, people of God? He opened what? Jesus was with them, performing miracles, preaching the word of God, but the understanding was not given to them. This is why Judah was carried away with the spirit of money. He opened their mind after explaining that everything written about me must be fulfilled. He realized that even if I'm explaining all these things to them, they could not understand me. Let me open their mind so that they could understand what I am talking about. Are you there? Jesus was explaining all these things. But he realized that his people were not listening to him. Or understanding his point. This is why the Bible says that he opened their minds. So that these people could understand the scripture. So understand our time. Understand your time. God Almighty is all. What you are going through, if the understanding is there with you, will not be there for a long time. Will be there for a while. Before you know it, because you understand it. Sometimes when you're talking to um, a person who is sick, you say, ah, they said this problem uh, uh, is what? They said this and that, okay. But uh, let's go to the Bible. You read the scripture. Uh, this is what. If you go to the Bible, you read the scripture. If you go to the Bible, you read the 
Then the Holy Spirit will whisper to say, Buffy, after this, this person is going to see, I don't want to mention this, he's going to see this and that. Do you believe that Jesus can solve your problem? Yes, my pastor. I even told my doctor, I said, no, I will not go for this one. Make no mistake. If you say yes, don't go back to the hospital. The same person who can say, but doctor, but pastor, but you feel the nice sacrifice, go hospital. That is the situation. Because that person cannot understand the reason and the purpose you are going through what you are going through. You keep on murmuring and complaining. This is why I'm asking this question. Is there anyone who can accept poverty? Hmm? No one. Is there anyone who can accept failure? No one. Is there anyone who can accept stagnation? No one. But that is the life we are living. No one, in, you know, would want to be a, a poor person. But you are living. There is time for everything. So understand your what? Aba umenga bale kufuwa fuwa sana wimona tini market. Ni time ufye. Ni season. Ni ishi? Wimona tini kwa ta market. Fue na piti la ponzi. Nomba wamba nukula endo mungu. Nukita ufuri okuya. Waya. Pantu wabale kufuwa na wafula. Ah, you will regret in life. Time will come where no one will just say, you'll be walking, you think you are beautiful, you are what? No one is even saying, hey, 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 Takuri. So you need to understand this. Sometimes you'll be making money, you see money all over. People are crying, complaining, problems, poverty. You, it's like they don't know what they are talking about. You are counting money. Don't you know, feel or think that you are above everyone. It is just a matter of time. Understand the time and the reason why you are counting money. If truly that money is serving the purpose of God in your life, you continue counting what? Money. But if you feel like, <laughs> as we know how to make money. <laughs> Are you serving the purpose of God? No. Understand your time. If you are in poverty, don't look at those who are, you know, enjoying. You see them uh, every day, kio, 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 coming back home with a lot of parcels. You are peeping on the window. Ah, God, what have I done to you? Even this useless neighbor. They are always coming back with a lot of parcels. Me, me, I go to church. He's a drunkard, this one. That is not the issue. That is not what? Understand your time. There is no situation which is permanent. Make no mistake. There is no problem which is permanent. They are there for a while. Understand the reason why you are going through what you are going through. If you are comparing your life to your neighbor or your friend, ah, your destiny is not their destiny. Hmm? So, apa, balani ba accountant, bali mfu, wale fokulete in salamu. Ba manager na wale njaki wale fokulete in salamu. Musungu na wale njaki wale njaki You are finished. You are finished. You are what? Okay, among these three, whom can you choose? Manager, accountant, and a white man. Let me hear from you. Whom can you choose? I know whom you can choose. I know. Uh, whom can you choose? I'm talking to uh, the young ladies, not our mother. Whom can you choose? Eh? The white man. Why? Why? Do you know him? Uh, do you know him? Why not the manager or accountant? Hmm? This is where we are missing it all. Oh, you need to ask God, the interpreter of our time, who is my future partner among these three gentlemen? Then God will be the one to say, this one. Hmm? 
white man. <laughs> eh? Not an accountant, not a manager. This is, there are some of you who are regretting now because you missed your target. Please understand your time. Jesus knew that my disciples are not getting me clearly. Let me open their understanding so that whatever I am saying, they will get it right and use it. He opened their minds. This is why lack of understanding is now making even the wrong things that you know that the Bible does not allow things. There are people who could stand and say, no, it's okay. Heaven is watching all of us. Heaven is what? What we respect here on earth cannot be respected there in heaven. So understand our time. We are going to see, you know, tough time in our generation. Because these scriptures have to be fulfilled. Are you there, people of God? Here is a company. Let me leave marriage issue. They want to employ you. One in Europe, one in Zambia, one in South Africa. And the one in Zambia, the salary is good. The difference with these two companies is maybe a, a thousand dollar. Which company are you going to choose? The Zambia, the South Africa, the Europe? Eh? Why? Eh? I can't hear you. Why? Can I hear from you, please? Why? Is there anyone who can answer me? The same position in Zambia, the same position in South Africa, the same position in Europe. The only difference which is there is the southern dollar. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, people will choose, or I can choose Europe because it's outside the continent. Whereby, when you talk of like, uh, I work from Europe, everyone will be looking at you as if you're making more money than whoever is working from within Zambia. Okay, oh, you go to Europe, you make money, and while it's making money, something bad happened to you, or they killed you there. You will still come back to Zambia as a dead body. As a dead body. Do you know the reason why I'm saying this? It is only God who knows where you are supposed to be. Even if you, are, you want to go and work somewhere, let the time of God be the one to take you there. If you go there because you know you want to show people that you are in that uh, country, you want to make money, you may not enjoy the money that you are making. That is why a lot of people are regretting. If God said, remain here, remain here, that is the time. If he said, go to Europe, you need to go to Europe because it is time. I am not saying it is wrong to go and work outside Zambia, please. Quote me clearly. I'm talking about the time. Move with God's what? Time. So that you will not regret. Even in our marriages, some of you, you are now regretting how I wish I, I was supposed to marry that one. But now, eh? eight children, where are you going? Where are you going with eight children? Can you call that man again to say, hello, I have changed my mind. Eh, how many children? Eight, you say you are mad. <laughs> Stay with your husband and take care of your children. Thank you. God bless you.